Hello students in this session we are going to learn about addition of four digit numbers without regrouping and with regrouping Before going to the topic let us recall about addition of three digit numbers with regrouping and without regrouping Add 123 and 546 Step 1 Arrange the numbers in columns of hundreds, tens and ones such as ones, tens and hundreds. Step 2. Add the digits in the ones column and write down the answer. 3 ones plus 6 ones equals 9 ones. Step 3. Now add the digit in the tens column. 2 tens plus 4 tens equals 6 tens step 4 now add the digit in the hundreds column 100 plus 500s equals 600s so the answer is 669 three digit addition with regrouping add 752 and 173 step 1 arrange the numbers in columns of hundreds tens and ones such as ones tens and hundreds step 2 add the ones and regroup if required two ones plus three ones equals five ones step 3 now add the tens and regroup if required five tens plus seven tens equals 12 tens since 10 ten tens equals 100 therefore 12 tens equals 100 plus 2 tens carry over 100 to the hundreds column and add the hundreds now step 4 add the hundreds 100 plus Seven hundreds plus one hundred equals nine hundreds. So the required sum is nine hundred and twenty-five. In this session, we will newly learn about addition of four-digit numbers with regrouping and without regrouping. First, let us see addition of four-digit numbers without regrouping. Let us consider an example. Add three thousand one hundred and fifty-two and four thousand three hundred and ten. Here the two add-ins are three thousand one hundred and fifty-two and four thousand three hundred and ten. In this slide, arrange the add-ins in the column method according to their place value. Step one: Add the ones column. The digit in the ones column of three thousand one hundred and fifty-two is two. The digit in the ones column of Four thousand three hundred and ten is zero. So two ones plus zero one equals two ones. Step two: Add the tens column. The digit in the tens column of three thousand one hundred and fifty-two is five. The digit in the tens column of four thousand three hundred and ten is one. So five tens plus one ten equals six tens. Step three. Add the hundreds column. The digit in the hundreds column of three thousand one hundred and fifty-two is one. The digit in the hundreds column of four thousand three hundred and ten is three. So one hundred plus three hundreds equals four hundreds. Step four. Add the thousands column. The digit in the thousands column of three thousand one hundred and fifty-two is three. The digit in the thousands column of Four thousand three hundred and ten is four. So three thousands plus four thousands equals seven thousands. Hence, when we add three thousand one hundred and fifty-two and four thousand three hundred and ten, we get the sum as seven thousand four hundred and sixty-two. Next example: add two thousand three hundred and ninety-two and five thousand one hundred and six. First. Arrange the numbers in column method according to their place value. Step one: Add the ones. Two plus six is equal to eight. Step two: Add the tens. 
9 plus 0 is equal to 9. Step 3. Add the hundreds. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Step 4. Add the thousands. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So the sum is 7498. Next, let us move on to the topic addition of 4 digit numbers with regrouping. If the sum of the digits in any column is more than 9, then we must regroup. Next, let us understand an example. Add 1883 and 2348. Step 1. Add the 1s. That is, 3 ones plus 8 ones is equal to 11 ones. That is, 110 and 11. So, we would carry over 110 to the tens column and 11 would stay in the ones place. Step 2. Add the tens. That is, 8 tens plus 4 tens is equal to 12 tens plus the 1 we carried over from the ones place equals 13 tens that is 103 tens so we would carry over 100 to the hundreds column and 3 tens would stay in the tens column step 3 add the hundreds that is 800 plus 300 equals 11 hundreds Plus the 1 we carried over from the tens column equals 12 hundreds. That is 1000 and 2 hundreds. So we would carry over 1000 to the thousands column and 2 hundreds would stay in the hundreds column. Step 4. Add the thousands column. That is 1000 plus 2 thousands equals 3 thousands. Plus the 1 we carried over from the hundreds place equals four thousands. Hence, when we add 1883 and 2348, the sum obtained is 4231. Next example, add 5348 and 3675. First, arrange the numbers in column method according to their place value. Step 1. Add the ones, that is, eight ones plus five ones is equal to thirteen ones, which is equal to one ten and three ones. So carry over one ten to the tens column and write three and the ones column. Step two, add the tens. Four tens plus seven tens plus one ten carried over from the ones column is equal to 12 tens, which is 102 tens. Carry over 100 to the hundreds column and write 2 and the tens column. Step 3. Add the hundreds. 3 hundreds plus 6 hundreds plus 100 carried over from the tens column is equal to 10 hundreds, which is 1000 and 0 hundred and carry over 1000 to the thousands column and write 0 and the hundreds column. Step 4. Add the thousands. 5000 plus 3000 plus 1000 carried over from the hundreds column is equal to 9000. Write 9 and the thousands column. So, 5348 plus 3675 is equal to 9023. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Thank you children.